Okay, I think we'll get going then, guys. And um, thanks for joining us today for our Atlas and Comelit webinar on door entry solutions. I'm going to go ahead and assume this is not your first rodeo in terms of webinars, so I'm sure you'll know how it works. Um, there's the raise your hand button if you do need to ask a question urgently, but otherwise we'd ask all questions and answer or questions to be kept to the end. You can submit them there via the wee button um, and we'll pick those up and run through them at the end. Um, I'd like to introduce Marcel from Comelit, who's going to run through his presentation today. And as I said, then at the end, we'll pick up the, uh, the questions and answers. Over to you, Marcel. Thanks, Pete. Uh... Uh, and thanks to the guys at Atlas for the opportunity today to join their webinar, their webinar Wednesdays. Uh, thanks for the invite. Uh, so Atlas over the years have been a trusted partner of Comlet, uh, delivering door intercom solutions throughout Northern Ireland and Great Britain. Uh, so we're just here today just to give you a bit of a flavour of our technology and some of the options that we, that we can supply. So there's my details. So you'll uh, judge that I'm from Northern Ireland, so I'm based here. So I look after a range of partners and installers around Northern Ireland and also Scotland. Uh, our head office in the UK is in Luton uh, and it offers full technical support and distribution uh, for, for the UK and Ireland. So today, quick agenda, just what we're gonna cover. We'll give you a quick flavor of who Comlet is. Uh, today, we're gonna concentrate on our simple bus intercom. So that's our two wire intercom. And uh, so we're going to concentrate on that. So we'll take you through some of the features uh, some of the ESPs on the product uh, and some of the things to watch out for. Uh, and the product itself will take you through different panel and monitor options. Um, and the other thing we're going to look at today is our door entry app. So we are one of the first on the market with an app uh, for door entry solutions. So we'll take you through some of the features of the app. Uh, a little bit about upgrading and investment protection. Uh, which are really important to us. Uh, and also we'll cover off uh, any questions at the end as per Pete. So let's get into it. So Comlet. So Comlet, we're an Italian manufacturer uh, and our, probably our core product is door entry. So we're really well known for door entry, but we also do a range of other security products. Uh, so we do CCTV, intruder alarms, we have a home automation product, a fire product, and an access control product. And the great thing about producing a range of products is with the growing uh, popularity of apps, we can offer a single pane of glass, glass to control all our products. So if I have a residential customer, a commercial customer who's using our door entry, uh, they can answer the call on the app, but they can also see the CCTV in the app, set their intruder alarm in the app, uh, or automate their home all using the app. So it's a complete integrated solution. As I said, we're an Italian company, uh, founded just outside Milan, family-owned business, uh, still a family-owned business, uh, but a real drive uh, in terms of professionalism and to be best in class. Uh, you know, we want to be market leaders uh, and a few first, you know, we're going to cover simple bus, simple bus today uh, and just be aware that, you know, we were the first company to deliver a two wire intercom solution and we have a patent for that. Uh, so we like to lead the market. Uh, we're also the first to market with IP intercom and first to the market with 3G video intercom. So a really strong technology uh, orientated and design company. Uh, and what we'll do now is we'll just launch straight into our Simple Bus product. Uh, so as it, the name suggests, Simple Bus. Uh, so it's a bus wired intercom uh, and it's simply delivered over a two wire infrastructure. So this is probably quite a good little diagram down here on the right hand corner of the slide. So where we've got the X, we can probably see where the world was about 10 years ago. Uh, so analog intercom systems typically used five or six wires to each door handset. So what we did was we revolutionized that. So the Comlet two-wire system, two-wire bus system, we have a single pair of wires uh, and our handsets, video handsets are connected off that bus, bus line. Uh, 
So our video and audio are delivered across these two wires. So straight away, it, you know, it's really revolutionized and changed the market. Uh, so it's a great system for retrofits. So if he comes, go in somewhere, or the guy's not, let's go in somewhere and, you know, there's a 20-year-old intercom, which is cabled like this. We've got loads of spare cable in to deliver something like this uh, in an easy format. In terms of the cable, uh, we can deliver it across any standard copper cabling infrastructure. So it can be CAT5, CAT6, telephone cabling, uh, or even uh, some sort of alarm cable, if that's all that's available on site. Uh, it can be delivered across any copper wire infrastructure. Non polarized, so the per, either per can be used. Really cost effective. Uh, from a programming point of view, quite easy to program. Uh, each monitor or module on the system has an address which is set using DIP switches. And we've got a big choice of internal and external panels, um, which are available across all our systems. Again, probably unique in the market. We do our panels both in our simple bus two wire version and an IP version. So from a customer's point of view, they probably don't actually know what sort of technology they're using. The products look the same, uh, which is uh, you know, a great selling point. Lots of manufacturers have different panels for different systems, really straightforward uh, from our point of view. The other thing we can offer is a range of bespoke solutions. So the guys at Atlas find this very popular. Uh, so we're constantly developing and manufacturing panels uh, for housing uh, associations and blocks of flats, uh, which are replacing older panels and have to be a specific size, dimension, uh, to fit you know, what was there in the past. Uh, and finally, what we'll look at as well is our app functionality. So we've got some slides later on around that there. But that's essentially what our two-wire simple bus system uh, delivers nice, easy digital solution. In terms of its features, so straight away we can have an unlimited number of entrance panels and blocks. Uh, maximum size, you know, we can go to about uh, 120,000 apartments, so it can be huge. And each apartment can have up to eight uh, monitors to answer calls from multiple zones. We can change monitors and we can have intercom between the handsets. So if I'm uh, you know, trying to ring down the reception, you know, I can press a button and the call can be answered at reception down below. Uh, and that central uh, switchboard can be quite popular, especially uh, both in social housing uh, and also in, in private residential housing developments as well. Obviously we deliver video to our monitors, but we can also take a feed from a third party camera. So if someone has a nice overhead camera, great quality, we can actually link that to our system and deliver it to the monitors within the apartments. And we can also record uh, or, or send that stream off to be recorded as well. Uh, we've got a telephone interface, uh, so we can connect it to a telephone system, uh, or we can actually deliver our telephone intercom calls off to someone's uh, telephone handset. That can be really popular in commercial settings uh, where you know a business operating outside of ours wants their, uh, their, their, their door to be answered 24 hours a day and open accordingly. And a nice little feature, obviously we let someone into our apartment building and they make our way up to our, our flat or apartment. We can have a doorbell outside uh, that apartment, which interfaces with uh, the door entry monitor behind it, uh, and it will basically trigger a ring and tone in the door entry monitor. So we, we're not doing away with our doorbell in our blocks of our apartments. So now we'll, we'll probably just jump into uh, some of the panel options that we can offer. So we've got a really extensive range of panels. So we'll not delve too deeply down into the features of each panel, but we'll probably just give you a quick overview of the technology within each range. And if we look here at 
the quadra range. So this is probably really popular silent pollen for our small, uh, small range of apartments. So maximum four apartments, uh, but video and audio through to the range of monitors. Our best selling range of panels or I call range of uh, modular panels. So these are modular. So up here uh, at the front, at the top of the panel, uh, we have our video handsets and audio. In this particular uh, version here, it's been configured with uh, directory. So this case, you know, for a large number of apartments, uh, the user will dial the apartment number, uh, or which can be both alpha, alpha numeric. Uh, so for instance, if we have 13 you know, or 12A instead of having 13, we can actually dial that using this. And we've also got a range of direct uh, button options. So in this case, for smaller blocks of apartments, maybe 50, uh, you know, each uh, apartment can be configured under a button. So it's nice and simple to, uh, to connect to. Choice of colors can be flush uh, or surface mounted. And the Vandal column range is pretty much the same components. It's pretty much made up with the same equipment. The big, big difference is it's IK10 rated. So it's very robust. So it's our, our Vandal resistant uh, range of monitors. Some customers, you know, be it uh, for environmental conditions, uh, you know, want to go for stainless steel. So we've got a nice range of stainless steel panels. So this begins with our switch range. So lots of different options in terms of how panels configured. Uh, we can have buttons, we can have a digital uh, monitor, uh, allowing us to dial the apartment. We can have an access control cutout. Uh, we can have three, four, 20 buttons. So it's all configurable. You just simply uh, ordered uh, for what you require really. Uh, so it's all factory manufactured uh, in Italy uh, and as per order really. Our top of the range uh, panel in stainless steel is this 316 touch. Uh, so probably the touch screen one here is probably our most expensive panel. Uh, great product, uh, touch screen, uh, you know, we can have buttons, we can have a, a digital, uh, dialer, uh, we can have a customer's logo on the screen. So lots and lots of different options in terms of the way this is configured. Uh, and again, really, really nice product. And as we said earlier, the guys at Atlas are well versed on our bespoke range of digital uh, stainless steel uh, panels. So we've got lots of options in terms of the number of buttons. Uh, this one here has a, an access control cutout, for instance. This one has simply has one button, uh, but really manufactured in the UK for to meet your uh, specific needs, really. So if you get us the cutout, uh, you know, we can manufacture a panel to meet that requirement precisely. So good choice in terms of panels. And Obviously, our simple bus technology has been around uh, for the last 10 years, uh, but we are about to launch a new range of panels uh, for our simple bus. Uh, so these panels will work both on our simple bus product and our VIP IP product. So it's called Ultra, uh, really swish looking panel. Uh, it's our first IP65 rated standard panel. Uh, so all our other standard uh, panels manufactured are IP54 rated, this one's 65, so fully weatherproof. Lots of options in terms of the way the modules go together. You can have buttons. This one here has a nice uh, directory module. Uh, so previously this was only available on something like the touch panel. So now we're really bringing that sort of technology down to uh, our standard run of the mill product. So great looking product with uh, lots and lots of features. In terms of buttons, three choices of buttons. We can have polycarbonate, which are plastic buttons like these. We've got a full metal option for buttons, and we've got full metal with 
the customer's name or partner names uh, etched in the metal. So lots of options in terms of making it nice and smart looking. Uh, no, the first, uh, the panel, the guys at Atlas will like this. Uh, the panel is designed to be programmed using Bluetooth. So we've got lots of different options in terms of programming. Uh, you know, we can connect the computer uh, using a lead to it. We can program it using dip switches. Uh, but in this particular one, we've got the option of programming it using Bluetooth and an app called My Conlet app. So great uh, advantage there, cutting down installation time, making our products cheaper and easier to install. So obviously we've looked at the front door. So we have a range of monitors, which uh, apartments and flats use to answer the calls. So we'll start off at our, our largest monitor here, which is the Maxi. So it's a seven inch touchscreen display. So it's a bit like your, uh, your iPad probably, except in the wall, lots of options, nice big video screen. You can have directory buttons to call the reception. Uh, and we can open the door and control our door from here. Icona, something similar, uh, nice touchscreen display, slightly smaller, same level of functionality. Uh, and this one here can also be used to integrate with our, our home automation product as well. Or probably our best three, our best two selling products are our mini monitor, which is this one here with a handset. So it comes in two versions, black and white. Uh, so we've got a nice color screen, uh, handset uh, audios delivered here uh, and we've got our programmable buttons down here to open the call and call reception etc uh, probably this is probably our best selling handset but we are seeing quite a move uh, towards hands-free so this is our, our mini hands-free monitor so from a maintenance point of view really popular in that we don't have a, a handset or a handset cradle that can be damaged and fall off. So from a maintenance point of view, great selling point not to have the handset. It offers all the functionality that this one does, uh, except it's completely hands-free. And I suppose like everything else, uh, I know uh, at home here, if our home phone goes, no one wants to get, to get up and answer. Uh, so what we've done is we've developed a fully hands-free Wi-Fi monitor. So the, the big advantage of this one, it connects to a customer's uh, or a client's uh, apartment Wi-Fi and delivers their door intercom calls to their smartphone using the Comlet app. So sitting, watching TV or I'm out and about, uh, someone comes to the door, presses the door button, uh, I get the call on my smartphone and I can open, uh, I can speak to the caller first of all, and I can trigger the, the door opening from my smartphone. Uh, so really, really important product for us, really getting lots of traction, uh, especially in, in private uh, residential areas, but a really, really uh, fantastic product in terms of some of the features that it offers. Some of the additions with the apps, you know, we can we can have this calls on it. So recorded uh, video clips. So the guy Van Amazon leaving our, our package, you know, we've got it recorded, uh, our CCTV on it. We can have up to 15 users on our app. So uh, in a student accommodation block, for instance, uh, we can it might have four or five students and they can all have their own app. Uh, they answer the, the door. And this, you know, people typically look at this here, app product as being IP, but the big thing for us, this works on our traditional door entry to our intercoms. So even though the technology has been around for a long time, you're getting all the modern day features uh, on something which you've invested in over time. Nice and simple to install and set up. Uh, you know, it's all done by the user in the apartment. So we're really pushing that out to the end user to configure. Nice and simple. And the other first for us, so this product's been out probably probably around a year now, uh, is that we can now integrate with Alexa. So if I'm at home, uh, I'm an Amazon customer, I've got my Amazon Echo, 
uh, I can integrate my door entry solution. So when someone presses the door, it will ring up my Alexa. I can answer it using my Alexa and I can tell Alexa to open the door as well. It's a great, great, great product. Yeah, again, standalone loads of these here. Yeah. The other thing with the 6741, another feature it has is facial recognition. So again, regular callers, uh, they appear in our app. Uh, we can authorize them in the app, the app so that when their face is recognized, it will actually open the door automatically for them. Uh, so again, really, really important. Uh, and it's that move to the digital age uh, that's being supported in your door intercom solutions. So in terms of uh, investment protection, so we've got loads of customers out there with loads of uh, simple bus intercoms around the country. Uh, so the great thing is that anyone who has an existing monitor, if they want to get some of these new features like Alexa uh, and the app integration, they can simply change their door entry monitor. So it's a nice and simple way of upgrading. So it's not a complete uh, rip and replace solution. It's simply changing the monitor in the apartment uh, or residential unit. Simple, straightforward. Just to, to digress away a little bit from uh, our simple bus solution, we also have an IP door entry solution. So again, uh, lots of people are making the move for IP, uh, especially new builds uh, where you know flexibility in terms of uh, what sort of cable and it's going into. So unlike simple bus, this must be installed on data cabling. So it has to be installed on the, on the data network. So every uh, device has an IP address, uh, you know, it can be over CAT5, CAT6, and it can be delivered across wireless networks as well. Nice and simple, has all the features that we've discussed so far. Uh, and again, has the app functionality. You don't have a central server. And in terms of numbers, the system is basically uh, limitless in terms of the number of users it can support. Probably the big difference if we have users spread across a big geographical location. Uh, so I might have a housing association that has apartments in Belfast, Portadown, Lurgan, Coleraine. Uh, they're looking at central reception so we could network that all together back to a central security location uh, based in their head office or from a security provider. Uh, and that will look after all their security uh, concierge requirements. So again, that's probably where this product sits. Fantastic. So as I said, we have been working with Atlas for a long number of years, uh, and they've been really successful in uh, the Northern Ireland market. And here we've got a list of some of Atlas's uh, successful comlet installations. So we've got you know, lots of uh, brand name, big brand name customers there, uh, Radius, Alpha, Choice, Triangle, Clan Mill, uh, and various sites that Atlas have done recently with them. Uh, so it's a really, really uh, strong testament to the quality of the product and the quality of our partner, uh, Atlas, as well. So I've given you a quick run through there. Uh, so just like to stop here and ask, uh, answer any questions or try and answer any questions that you guys might have. Thanks very much for that, Marcel. Appreciate that. That was a, a great run through. Lots of great information in there. And yes, I can certainly agree that we uh, we love the bespoke um, element of the panels that we we go with from you guys because, as you said, we're <clears throat> we're doing an awful lot of retrofit for these social housings, so it does come in very useful. Um, I think to be fair to you, you, you must have covered a lot of the bases because we're, we're we've only got one question and um, so far. Um, there might be a few more now that you're you're finished up, but uh, I'll go through this one anyway. Um, you'd mentioned the different cables can be used, um, for, especially for retrofitting um, across sort of the, the various types. Does it matter in terms of the cable type uh, what sort of distance then you'll have, or can you know what's the sort of factor there? Yep, good question. Uh, so yes, the type of cable will determine the distance that 
the monitor can be installed away from the door. Uh, so what we have done is we have a cable chart. So on that cable chart, it will show you the type of cable and the distance that it will uh, it is supported. It's been tested and supported. Uh, so the guys at Atlas have access to that chart, but typically on say a Cat5 cable, we're looking to run around about 200 meters. Uh, if it's alarm, something like alarm cable, it's going to be much lower than that there. So it could be maybe around 50 meters. Uh, but the guys at Atlas will share the, the cable distance chart uh, and we can provide that to you uh, as well. No problem. I would say that covers that off. Um, well, I think that's it, Marcel. And there's no more questions coming through unless anyone has, has anything they want they wish to add or ask. But obviously, if you... Um, Think of something down the line you can get us get in touch with us here at atlas and uh, we'll be able to answer your question or get in touch with marcel if, if needs be um otherwise i think i'll thank everyone for their time today appreciate that i know it's in short supply um wish you all a good day keep safe keep well wear a mask thanks and good luck thank you thanks babe